The bushfire crisis is hitting hard in the southwest, forcing hundreds out of their houses. For some, it's been days of waiting to find out if they've lost their homes. Oliver Peterson is at the evacuation centre in Australind, and Ollie, this is a tough time for people there. Louise, this is where the people of Harvey will shelter tonight. They have faced and spent a number of nights away and tonight they're facing another long night of uncertainty as firefighters continue to battle to try and save their town. Around 150 people are here and they have no idea when they'll be able to return home. Harvey family, the Hollands, taking refuge on Australian Oval. Three generations waiting anxiously, praying their homes and the animals they've left behind will be OK. I don't think there's ever been one as bad as this. Brian Hollands lived in the town for almost 50 years. We're all alive and safe and hopefully, hopefully when we get back to uh, Harvey we'll still have a house. He spent last night sleeping in his car and is preparing to do the same tonight. It's, um, well, it's not very comfortable, put it that way. More than 700 evacuees are sleeping rough at centres in Australin and Pinjarra. To pass the time and ease the angst, some turn to knitting, others a game of cricket. All agree the volunteers at this rec centre are angels. Any little thing that they can think of that you might need, even, even down to uh, ready-to-go toothbrushes. You know, like the power of one, it's all it takes and just every little bit helps. Newlyweds Joe and Demi Rognetta were meant to be tying the knot in their Harvey backyard. The fires quickly changed their plans. With just 24 hours notice, they changed wedding venues, marrying at the Bunbury Lighthouse instead. To me, it, it, as long as we get married, it didn't, didn't bother me, but I mean, we've put so much time and effort into the place where we were meant to get married. Some of their guests couldn't make today, instead battling the blaze. And there's actually a few of my mates and that, that can't come today because they're fighting fires. So, you know, if it wasn't for them, people fighting fires today, you know, what we might not have a town. Just uh, very happy to be safe and sound and whatever happens back there, we'll, we'll sort that out tomorrow. And southwest dri drivers face long delays and detours as a number of roads in the area remain closed. Now, they include both directions of the Forest Highway, Old Coast Road, and South Western Highway. Now, drivers are being urged to avoid non-essential travel in the area, but if you do have to travel into these parts, then make sure you have a full tank of petrol, drive slowly, and ensure that your headlights are on. If you need any further information, please consult the Department of Fire and Emergency Services website. Louise. Ollie, thank you very much.